Once I've selected my contacts and filled out the general information, it's time to choose a template for my newsletter. I can choose a default template, a custom template, as well as a premium template. I can edit all of these templates in the editor. For now, it's just a starting point. All of the default templates are programmed in Responsive Design and have been tested in over 30 email clients, including Gmail, Outlook, and iOS. This means that the newsletter will display correctly no matter the device. I can also have newsletter to go create and design a custom premium template. Premium templates are designed using my corporate logo and design and will take all of my needs and wishes into account. Once the premium template has been created, it will be uploaded to the premium template tab. I can use it as often as I want and even customize it further on my own. For now, I'll select a template and then click on confirm to move into the newsletter editor. I can use the editor to customize the layout, add content and images, and design the rest of the newsletter. The editor is divided into parts, the toolbar on the left side, and the newsletter view in the center of the screen. There are undo and redo buttons at the top left, as well as a preview feature. I can click on the send test button to send a test version of the newsletter to myself or my team, or save this newsletter as a template for use later. I can use the preview feature to see how the newsletter will be displayed on certain devices, including desktop, tablet, and smartphone. Back in the editor, I can select a design block by clicking on it. As I move my mouse across the newsletter, I can select individual blocks of text, images, or entire rows. Once I've selected the block that I want, I click on the circle icon in the toolbar at the left to view my design options. I can choose the background color, padding between blocks, height and width, as well as border shading. In the newsletter view, it's easy to both copy and delete individual blocks. After clicking on the block, I click on the copy or delete icons below. If I want to move one of the blocks to a different position, I click and hold, dragging the block across the newsletter and dropping it into the correct spot. The blue line helps me see where exactly the block will be displayed. If I want to add a design element, I click on the plus tab in the toolbar on the left side of the screen. I can add different kinds of design blocks using the templates. If I'm using a premium template, an e-commerce integration, I have the option to insert product or content blocks, which allow me to import product information and images, or content from my site, directly into the newsletter with just one click. To the right of the Plus tab, the Media tab allows me to view, import, and upload images into the newsletter. The images that I upload here will be available to me for all of my newsletters as part of my media library. The block navigator on the far left of the toolbar gives me an overview of the newsletter's layout and lets me easily navigate between my design blocks. Learn how to import and customize your newsletter with images, text, new design blocks, personalization, and links in the next videos. Did you find this video helpful? If you'd like to see more videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel.